guys. Hey, I want to welcome you to another, uh, to, uh bleh, let's see if I can talk. Another Tumblr tutorial. Um, today we're going to work on an alcohol ink beach cup. So like a mug, like a coffee cup. Um, I had a, you know, you guys know if you've watched my other videos, I'm practicing sublimation and I actually had a, um, cup, an actual coffee cup that I tried to sublimate it didn't work out so I sanded it really well and we're just going to use that and go over it because once you mess up sublimation cup as far as I know you can't reuse it you can't resublimate on it so I just sanded it real well um, and I'm doing something a little bit different and hopefully it gives you a couple of ideas so um, what else I linked everything that I'm using down in the description below all the normal jazz um and this video is a little bit longer because i really didn't skip any parts so it's i'm literally showing you from stirring the epoxy mixing the epoxy and stirring the epoxy all the way to the end and i want to apologize in advance like the first 10 minutes of this video it's just me talking all you see is like my tumbler arm and i don't know why i didn't turn the camera to face me i don't know if i just looked bad or if i was in my pajamas there's no telling but um i, I do talk to you and i do give you some tips and stuff like that <clears throat> so make sure you listen to that if if you're interested in that so um and i think that's it so as i was editing this video that's not it as I was editing this video this is gonna drive you crazy if you're anything like I am I missed a spot on my cup when I put the epoxy on I missed a spot a whole spot up at the top and as I was editing this video it drove me absolutely insane I was like how do I do how did I do this entire cup and not see this white piece of cup that I completely didn't put epoxy on so um i hope it doesn't drive you as insane as it drove me but i did fix it in the final product um you don't see the final product at the end because it took me like a week before i put the final coat of epoxy on this cup but this cup will be up on my website um i think tomorrow today's the first today's march first so it actually will be on my website tomorrow for sale so um but anyway i think that's it so i'm gonna shut up now and i'm gonna let you go watch the video and um i hope you guys enjoy and like i said everything i use is down below in the description there are some discount codes down there as well if you want to um, use those and if you have any questions just leave me a comment and i'll get back to you and i will see you in a bit bye Hey guys, so we are going to work on a uh, just a little beach cup. I've seen people do beach tumblers on like regular size tumblers, but I've never seen one on a cup, so I'm going to do it. Um, this cup is a, it was actually a sublimation cup that I messed up this morning, so I'm just gonna we're just gonna go over it. Um, so if you do do so if you do sublimation and you do mess one up, you can sand it down really good like I sanded this with like 120 grit sandpaper really well um I've got to wipe it off but I'm gonna I'll get it wiped off um and I've realized that I don't think I've ever gone through the whole process of the mixing of epoxy and everything with you so I've got my little medicine cups this is how I mix epoxy so what I'm doing I'm using and this is what I use so this is um KS resin this is their regular set not their fast set um, because we are going to use alcohol inks and it's their liquid art UV epoxy so um, this is the hardener so what I do is I just and I'm, I'm having to do a little bit extra and I've already actually poured the resin in another little medicine cup and so what I do is I just set, I have both of my cups here, I just set them down and make sure that the levels are even when I do this much. And those are good. Um, you can mix it where you, you know, you can do 
you know, 15, 15 mLs in one cup and 15 mLs in the other cup. You know, it's got the little tick marks on the side to show you how much you're measuring, but it's easier for me to do it this way. And so now I've just got my little, these are just little cocktail cups that I got from the Dollar 25 store. And I am just going to, I'm going to move this cup for a second so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, and I'm just going to mix, hopefully you can see what I'm doing, maybe not. I don't know, let me get in frame here. Whatever, you can, you can, you can almost see it. But I just put... I just take my resin out of the little cups and put it into the bigger cup. Now if I'm only mixing like 10 mLs or you know 15 mLs whatever then I won't do this. I'll just use the little medicine cups but when I'm mixing this much epoxy which this is going to equate to about probably close to um, a little over 60 mLs of epoxy. Um, I do it in a bigger cup because it gives me a little bit more leeway there's not as many air bubbles that form all that good stuff so and you just want to make sure you get out as much of that epoxy out of that little cup as you can and i know i'm not in frame y'all that's this is a weird angle i have y'all over here at my big turner so this is kind of a weird angle for me but basically i'm just scraping all everything out of the cup and putting it into the, the big cup. So then we are just going to stir this up. And I just kind of stir mine. Um, I don't whip it like, sometimes I whip it like, like pancake batter, but for the most part, I try not to. So we're just gonna stir this up. And while we're stirring, I have had quite a few people ask me um, what I use to get started making tumblers. And it's really, I mean, I, I basically, like a lot of other creators, I bought one of the, I have got an itch on my arm. I bought one of the tumbler kits off of Amazon. And that's basically what I used. I used that little cheapy Amazon epoxy and the glitter that came with the top. I mean, it was like a little kit that came with like a, a two cup turner and um, what else did it come with? Came with a couple of extra, it came with a couple of stainless steel, like little stainless steel 20 ounce cups. Um, it came with some glitter some mica powder, two little eight ounce bottles of epoxy, which in actuality was, that epoxy actually was not that bad. Um, if I would have known how to use it, it probably would have been better, but it wasn't bad at all. And then, that's really it. And I didn't use anything from that first, and I've told you guys this before in my other videos, but I didn't use anything except for the turner and the, I don't even need to use the cup, I just used the turner for my very first video where I did the acrylic swirl with the acrylic paint and all that stuff. That's the very first cup I did, so I didn't even use the glitter. It took me a while before I got the courage to do a glitter tumbler because I didn't like glitter. I still don't like using glitter because it makes such a mess, but it's so pretty. I like looking at it. I don't like using it, <laughs> but that's really all you, I mean, that's all you need. You know, start small and, you know, decide if it's something that you want to do because that's like a, you know, $50 investment. So start small. When you decide that that's what you want to do, then, you know, move up to, to a bigger turner and... more you know the the name brand epoxy and stuff like that so maybe here at the end we'll take a little tour and I'll kind of show you my little space here 
in case you want to see it, in case you're needing ideas on how to set stuff up or... So while I'm, again, uh, while I'm stirring this because it takes a minute, um, we're going to make the speech tumbler with alcohol ink. And for the most part, it is T-Rex alcohol ink and Tim Holtz. So I'm going to use Tim Holtz caramel and or butterscotch. I've done these before, but I don't remember what color I used. So I think it was butterscotch, but... Uh, then we're going to be using my white, which I need to find. It's the pinata white. Um, and then the other three alcohol inks. I've got a total of five. The other three, and I'll show them to you before I use them. The other three are T-Rex inks. And you can go to T-Rex to their website and buy those. They're they're super vibrant. They have the regular colors and then they have the glitter colors. Um, I think one of these I picked out is a glitter color. I'm not sure. But and then I'm going to also be using a um, secret sauce from Mr. Fancy Pants. I'm sorry it's a signature sauce from Mr. Fancy Pants that we're going to give it a little bit of sparkle. So that's what that's what we'll be using and again it's just a just a mug that I tried to sublimate an image onto this morning and it just didn't I burned it I've never sublimated an actual coffee mug so I wanted to try it I'm still you know I told you I'm still fairly new to this sublimation thing so I'm sorry you guys are having to see my hand just swirl around here, but I think we might, we might, we're good. So let's get started. Okay, so what we're going to do, um, I'm going to take another, actually I'm not going to use that. I'm going to take just this is just one of those little bathroom cups um, and I'm gonna pour some of this epoxy probably 20 mils or so into that cup and I know you it's hard to see that I don't have a lot of light over here in this area but um, this is going to be for my base because we have to cover up this image the alcohol inks will not cover that up and we are also going to use that for our, move stuff out of the way. We're also going to use that for our little waves that we're going to put at the end. So this is, <clears throat> this is KS Resins. This is just a white epoxy um, color. You just put a few drops into your epoxy and it'll change it that color. I have white and I have a couple of other colors. Um, there are a ton and you really only need just a few drops and I'll see if I can I don't I don't know if you can see that or not but um, you only need a couple of drops and it will turn your epoxy white so there's a few places um, there's a few there's a bunch of places that sell epoxy colorants so you can look for a you can search epoxy dye you can search K I love KS resins because it, it it's really really uh, thick I also love CCDIY's um, dispersion colors. The only thing about these is that they're kind of expensive, so um, I don't use I don't use those very often. Only when I absolutely have to. But I really really love KS Resins um, epoxy dye. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start putting a layer of epoxy on this cup and it needs to be kind of thick because we are going to be using alcohol inks and I have extra over there in case I need it so you're it's, it's almost going to be like a flood coat um, if you've never heard that term before it's just when you're coating your tumbler or mug or whatever the case may be with a little heavier coat of epoxy than you would normally use. 
so you're you're gonna hear that term like when you're having to go over chunky glitter or you know having to epoxy over chunky glitter stuff like that when we get to this handle I always <laughs> I stop my turner because I I can't keep up I've got a piece of my little foam there And my turner is not, for some reason, it's not level. I don't know what I did to it. I don't know if it's when I moved it or what, but it's, you'll see it. If you hear that noise in the background, it's the cups that are on top of my turner bouncing around. But they'll be okay. They've been like that forever. All right. So we're just going to, and I used almost all of that. So since I have some of that left, I may use that for the waves instead of instead of the, the white alcohol ink. If you have a cup that's already spray painted, you know, spray painted white or what you don't have to you don't have to do this part. I'm just doing this part only because I had that image on there that we have to cover up. And it is <clears throat> blowing 70 miles an hour outside and I'm out of white paint so this was my only option okay and we have a little bit of that left and you don't need much for when you start to get to the weight the wavy part of your cup you don't you don't need a whole bunch of that okay I'm gonna let that level out for just a second there's a lot of epoxy and it's going to, whoa, and it's like I'm slinging it everywhere. It's going to seem like there's just a ton of epoxy, but here in just a second, it's going to level out. So we'll let that level out for just a second. going to take because we are using the <clears throat> the signature sauce I'm going to take a little bit more of this epoxy and just put it in another little another little cup here so I just need a little bit for this I don't need very much at all okay now I can show you what we're using so this is, let me get my glasses because I can't see anything. This is Glacier Blue from T-Rex. And I'm going to try to hold these where you can see them, but there's the light over here is really bad. Um, let's see if I can get a little bit more light over here, but I don't know if I can. That may help a little bit. But Glacier Blue from T-Rex inks and there's a code down below uh, for a discount uh, my code is down below for a discount this is infinity teal from T-Rex and it's just a teal color this is quantum cobalt and this is actually just it's cobalt blue T-Rex and then again I have uh, butterscotch and caramel don't know which one I'm going to use or if I'm going to use both and then we're going to use um, Away We Go. It's a signature sauce from Mr. Fancy Pants. So it's that. It's pretty sparkly blue. And I am just going to torch this just a tiny bit because I see a few bubbles in here. Oh, and you will need a heat gun for this project as well. I forgot to mention the heat gun. Okay. Alrighty. I'm going to go ahead and mix up my secret sauce. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking... I'm having to do this over this cup, y'all. This is scary. My popsicle stick. And I'm only using about that much. 
maybe a little bit more than that. And I'm just going to mix it into the little small thing of epoxy that I poured just now. So that is all I'm doing at this point. And I actually am using more. So I'm using, <clears throat> I did three of those. Three of those little scoopfuls on my popsicle stick. Because I do want, <clears throat> I want this kind of thick. I want this mixture right here. I want it kind of thick. And you see it's just, it's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So you just want this mixture kind of thick. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to zoom y'all out just a little bit for just a second. Oh, wrong way. That way I have a little bit more room. I don't know. I should have thought about that earlier, but I didn't. But, so, that's ready to go whenever we're ready for it at the end. Now we can start <clears throat> with our inks. I'm going to start with the butterscotch. Um... Here, I'll zoom y'all back in real quick. I'm going to start with the butterscotch just because I think, I really do think the butterscotch is what I used. Make sure you shake your inks really good before you use them. So, you want to create the illusion of sand down at the bottom. So, we're just going to just drop, making sure you get the bottom. And you can do the sand as high up as you want to go. You don't. It doesn't have to be. I think I'm actually going to use both. Just to give it. This is not, y'all. This is not caramel. This is sandal. Sorry about that. But it is sandal. If you can see that, if it, my camera won't focus for some reason, but I'm going to use both. So, like I said, you want the illusion of sand down here at the bottom, and you kind of want to get that handle just a little bit. I think that looks pretty good. And we're going to go in with our lighter color blue. And if you are not sure how dark your colors are, because with some of these T-Rex colors, they're a little bit darker than what's on the bottle. And I think that one's actually a little bit too dark. So let me grab a lighter blue real quick. Um... Okay, we're going to use Pull from Tim Holtz instead of, I'm going to use that other one as well, but uh, the Pull is just a little bit lighter. So what I'm going to do, what I do, this, what I'm doing with mine is I kind of start on the sand, like right at the very top of the sand, because I want that kind of greenish color, and I just kind of do a line across the top here. Because, I mean, you want it to look like the, you know, the ocean's going into the sand. And then I go up just a little bit. And you just drop your inks. These are so much fun to do, and they turn out different every single time you do them. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the, um, the Glacier Blue. And again, I'm doing the same thing, just right above. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm trying to not be, like I said, this is a weird, weird angle for me. Okay. And I think I'm going to go ahead with my cobalt because you know the the further out you get in the ocean the darker blue it gets so we'll just go in with our cobalt and I forgot to do the handle I'll have to go back and do that here in just a second
but you're just dropping the darker blue on there. And you want to make sure that you get the underneath of that handle, which is kind of tricky. You want to have something under your... There it goes. It got it. You want to have something underneath your your uh, mat here. So I have my little glitter guy things. and uh, I'm going to try some of this Infinity Teal. <clears throat> Since we're kind of experimenting. Oh, this is super dark. I don't like that. Let's go back in with some more glacier blue and put it on this handle real quick. Okay. And I covered up quite a bit of my. my sand but it'll be okay okay now what we're gonna do is we're going to take our white that we had before remember our little cup of white and I'm just going to kind of swirl not a lot just a little bit that was a big clump of white right there And this gives you kind of the wave action going on out in the out in the ocean. I didn't mean to get it on the sand part. Let's see if I can get some more of this color in here. If it'll if it'll show up the cool thing about these beach cups is that you know honestly you can't really mess them up um, I mean you really can't you can't mess them up we're gonna do just a tad more white I have to borrow some of my Some of my white from over there and that other, or some of my other epoxy over here. And I'm just mixing up, just mixing up some more white. And you can <clears throat> heat this up to kind of make it, you know, do what you want to do. But you're just this, this, I mean, this is literally all I do until I'm happy with it. So. And I may put a little bit of heat on it, but not much. I do want that white to show through a little bit, so. And that blue right down here, that, that's on purpose. <clears throat> that blue will actually swirl into this, into this green down here by the little beachy area. 
Okay, now I'm just going to take, actually I'm going to let that spin for a little bit before I do anything with secret sauce. I'm going to go ahead and put up these inks. And again, guys, if y'all want to check out these T-Rex inks, um, there is a link in the description below. That'll save you some moolah, which is always nice. There's a link below that will save you some moolah on KS Resin Epoxy. Unfortunately, I do not have a link for Mr. Fancy Pants yet. Hopefully, I'll get that eventually. I used a ton of their stuff, but <clears throat> I'm still going to use their stuff because I love it. So, as this spins, I mean, you'll see it change. <clears throat> It'll change like crazy. Um, and it's, it's, it blows me away what, you know, what it does. And you basically, I mean, just play with it until you're happy with it, you know. Like I said, there's no, you, you really can't mess up an alcohol ink beach tumbler and I think if I'm not mistaken I may have done a video on this I don't remember <clears throat> I should have went back and looked but I've never seen a mug done and I thought you know this would be really cute do a beach tumbler and <clears throat> we're all in the midst of winter and well I say winter I'm in North Texas the panhandle of Texas so I'm in the windy season not really in winter anymore I mean it's 60 70 degrees outside and it's winds blowing 90 miles an hour every day but but as you watch, i could sit here and just watch this the whole time just spin this will need to spin for about six hours um it is currently like seven o'clock here eight o'clock here sorry um so it's it from it's just going to spin overnight and i'll come and check it tomorrow um i'm letting it sit I'm letting it spin for a minute before I put on the signature sauce because I want, I, I don't want any more of that epoxy dripping off the bottom. So I don't want my glitter to drip off the bottom of the cup. But I could literally just sit and watch this, but I'm not going to put you guys through that. So I'm just going to take my signature sauce and I'm just going to kind of run it through. And this is pr absolutely 100% because I wanted this on there. You do not have to do this part. But I'm kind of putting it on some of the lighter colors. I just wanted a little bit of sparkle in here. So that is what I decided to do. Okay, I, so I don't know when that stopped. I don't know if you saw me put on the secret sauce, but I'm going to show you again. Um, I just looked up and my camera had stopped recording. But what I did is I just took, after this sat for a minute, I just took my secret sauce and just kind of put it wherever I wanted it. So it will it'll spin out a little bit, but it'll leave that glittery shimmer on the cup. So let me get out of the light. And I'm going to zoom in. So you can kind of see, hopefully it's not, not too blurry there, but you, actually it is blurry, but you can see that sparkle. So I'm going to just let this spin for a little bit and um, I will come back and show you what it finally looks like in the morning. So I will see you then. Okay guys, we are back and here is our finished, or not finished, but here's our, our tumbler. And I have already sanded the rim and all that good jazz. Um, but see how much it changed just from... See, and I like how the... looks like the waves are going down into the water. 
Now there's some little parts up here that we'll fix with the final epoxy. I'll just get some blue alcohol ink and just kind of dab it on just to get rid, just to cover up that white that's up there. But that's just where it pulled away <clears throat> while it was while it was spinning on the turn. It's just where it pulled away. So I've got this cute little, and y'all, I don't know where I got this. I got it off Etsy a long time ago. But I've got this cute little decal that we're going to put on it. So I am just going to, and it's, I say it's a decal, it's, it's a, a, a sticker decal. So I'm just going to cut around this and I hope it shows up. I think this is a um, decal for a dark colored surface. So I'm just kind of cutting that excess off a little bit. So, then you then it's time to figure out where to put your decal. That's the hardest part. I think I'm going to put it on this side. Um, yeah. I'm going to put it on this side because I like the way the, wa the, the waves are looking on that other side. So, I'm just going to put it on this side. as we possibly can. Oh, and it's cute. I kind of like the way it fades in a little bit. It's got a little bit of a bubble. So there we are. I've got a little bit of a bubble there. I've got to get out, but for the most part, it's, I'm trying to get this light where you where there's not a big glare, but I don't think I can. But it turned out super cute. We just need one more coat of epoxy on this, and this cup will be complete. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um. And I have, if you want to see how I sand my, my cups and get them ready for um, the next layer of epoxy or the final sanding, um, I actually have a video on my TikTok and it's at Glitterscapes Co. So go follow me on TikTok. I put, I put, I try to put a lot of stuff on TikTok. So go follow me there and um, I will see you next time. Bye.